Justice Secretary Boying Rimulia recommends filing of criminal charges against the fake Filipino over pursuing his deportation to China. Remulia explained that filing criminal charges means the government is getting to the bottom of the cases of faking birth certificates. The brother of former Duterte's economic advisor, Michael Yang, was confirmed as Chinese citizen Yang Jianxin. Yang previously admitted to authorities that his Philippine birth certificate is fake. Oh, ang bilis niya umamin eh. Mo, Pagkatanong lang sa kanya, yes na siya kaagad eh. Yes, it's fake. Di ba? Meron siyang fake uh, passport, fake birth certificate. For para the, maka for the longest time, alam mo, for the longest time since namulat mata ko sa politika, since oh. the 90s pa, parang I've been wanting to, ano, bakit nangyaya na mamayagpag sa Pilipinas yung mga fake government documents? I mean, come on, matagal na nangyayari ito. Buti na address ngayon to Sa recto pa lang eh. Alam naman natin naging issue na noon yan eh. You have fake Aray, driver's license. You have, alam mo yung mga fake na transcript of records na yun nung panahon ng 90s sa early 2000. Pag binerify mo yung records na yun sa school, nag-reflect. Kasi In other words, it is, it, it is uh, plagiarized and fake, pero it is connected to the source. Even oh. yung mga license noon, pag binerify mo daw yung driver's license na bibili sa recto noon, after makukuha mo daw after 15 days, lumalabas sa system ng LTO. Noong 90s, ganun na yan. So that's why, importante nga. Ngayon pala natin, sa... buti ngayon, we are, we're trying to look at how we can make our documents, our national documents secure. 2024 na yun, no? 2024 na ngayon na natin naisip yan. Alam natin, may mga, ano mga nangyayari under the table dun sa mga, no, allegedly, di ba, dun sa mga uh, government agencies natin and particularly dito sa pagbibigay ng birth certificates, di ba? Yeah. Na, uh, nangyayari ito under the late registration program. And we cannot fault and PS seen a lot of ano di ba mga reports about uh, sa Davao mm. sa Cagayan na thousands of fake birth certificates or actually it's not really fake eh, no di ba tawag nila yung legit yung paper it's just that yung content mm. na nilagay nila ay hindi tama falsified diba? falsified so nakita natin yung thousands of that uh, from different areas of our country. So, dapat yan, yan yung dapat tignan ng Senate in aid of legislation. Yung uh, papano nila mapa, maaayos yung pagbibigay ng uh, birth certificates under late registration dito sa mga tao.